Happy St. Patrick's Day! As a proud Irishman, I love to celebrate St. Patrick's Day and this year I'm going all out because I'll be teaming up with YouTubers across the world. We'll be cooking recipes from Ireland's wonderful food heritage, tasting treats from the land of leprechaun and of course proving to you that we don't just eat potatoes. Make sure to head over to the Sorted Food channel for lots more Irish inspired recipes. So while the lads are making theirs, I'm going to make an absolute traditional Irish classic. Good old bacon and cabbage. But this bacon and cabbage is going to get a kick up the arse because we're going to make it into a wonderful creamy little pie. First step is to make the filling. So to start it off, fry off some onions and some carrots in a big pot. I'm frying this combination of carrot and onions just off until they're nice and tender and I've fried them off in a little bit of rapeseed oil. Once this is nice and tender, we're going to make a really great white sauce which my bacon and my cabbage is going to be wrapped up in and it's absolutely gorgeous as a filling to these pies. Make sure to season it up with some sea salt and some ground black pepper. While my vegetables are becoming nice and tender, I'm going to focus on the main ingredients to these bacon and cabbage pies. Can you guess what it is? It's bacon and cabbage. So I have some Savoy cabbage here, and you can really use whatever cabbage you like, but I love the texture of Savoy, and it's got that really great rich green colour. So just take off those outer leaves, and then I'm just going to slice off the end. And all you're looking for here is nice chunky shreds of cabbage. I think half a head of cabbage should do me. And then for my bacon, I've already boiled up this lovely bacon and sliced it up. So I'm just going to slice it further into nice hefty chunks. So now my vegetables are nice and tender and really sweet smelling. So I'm going to get in there with the base of this really good white sauce, which starts with some butter. Essentially what we're making is a nice roux which has a lovely injection of flavour from the carrot and the onions. So straight in on top of that I have my flour. And give this a good mix through and you want to fry it off just until you smell that flour being cooked out. It almost smells like pastry being baked off in the oven. It's this combination of butter and flour which is going to result in a nice thick and creamy sauce. So I'm going to go straight in there with some chicken stock, you could use ham stock. And in fact, I have some of the liquid that my ham is cooked off in. Give it a good mix through and you can see already you've got lovely luscious creaminess that's going to thicken up as it cooks out. Okay, check this out. We have a lovely creamy and thick sauce. So now I'm going to thin it out with some cream. Make this really nice, rich and indulgent. So the cream goes in and you can see it transforms into a lovely creamy finish on the sauce. And now it's time to add those wonderful ingredients, the bacon and the cabbage. So get your bacon in there and get your cabbage in there. And essentially you just want to simmer this through until that cabbage has softened down. final ingredient to go into the filling is some parsley. So grab your parsley and give it a really nice fine chop. On a day like today, you have got to get a bit of green in there. Straight into the pot with the parsley. And look at those wonderful colors. The green, the pink, that creamy sauce. Now it's time to mix it together. I have a mini pie tin filled with some pastry, which I'm going to fill now with our bacon and cabbage filling and then top it off with a nice lid and a little shamrock over the top. Brush the edge of each pastry case with a little bit of egg yolk. Just press that pastry case and top together with the back of a fork and this should seal your little pie. Okay, they are looking pretty good, so I'm going to cut out some little shamrocks and stick them on top and brush it with a bit of egg.
My mini bacon and cabbage pies are now ready for the oven, so they're gonna go in for about 35 to 40 minutes, just until they've become nice and golden brown on the outside. And you're looking for them to be in at about 200 degrees Celsius. My beautiful bacon and cabbage pies have come out of the oven and check them out, wonderfully golden on top, nice crunchy pastry, and now it's time to find out how they taste in the middle. <laughs> oh, so, so sweet, salty, that wonderful green taste from the cabbage. That is so delicious, really lovely and salty from the bacon in there. You've got that really great crunch from the cabbage, that wonderful sweetness from the carrot in there, and that really beautiful creamy sauce wrapped around it. And best of all, it's all wrapped up in that beautiful little pastry case, perfect for taking with you to your Paddy's Day parades. This is a brilliant little St. Patrick's Day recipe. I hope that you give it a go. The link is in the box below over on my website. Give me a big like, leave a comment below, tell me what you're doing on St. Patrick's Day. Check out Sorted Food and all their wonderful food recipes. And of course, do not forget to check out that wonderful Paddy's Day collaboration playlist with all the brilliant YouTubers who took part cooking wonderful Irish recipes all over the world. Hope you have a great St. Patrick's Day wherever you are and I'll see you soon. As we say in Ireland, slauncha agus slonga fall.